กระพัดมาเพลงดอชิงเลสิงโกไกเลสิงโกไกไกเลสิงโกบาลเดชันไกอาพัดมาบุกระพัดมาเพลงดอไดโอนาริสิงอาริไดโอนาสิงฮาริไดโอนาสิงฮาริไดโอนาสิงฮาริไดโอบักจับพระลาจายาบักจับพระลาจายาบักจับพระลาบักจับพระลาจายาสีตารังจายาสีตารัง Rapupat, 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 rapupat. Rapupat, rapupat, rapupat. Rapupat, 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 rapupat. Ram Mahotsava ki jai, Shri Singhane Bhagwan ki jai, Shri Prabhu Bhakti. Hare Krishna, wir haben noch drei Minuten. Wollen wir vielleicht ganz kurz das Fenster öffnen? Was?
can can be a Hi Krishna, how are you? Thank you so much. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Ja, vielleicht, wenn du so gut sein kannst. So, Hare Krishna. Oh. I wish to welcome all of you to this uh, Ramlila Kata. I think we will touch on a few very, very beautiful uh, things. I will be speaking in English. I'm here for those of you on the internet in the Dharma Castle. Uh, very wonderful devotees have uh, come here. Mm. We will sing also a little bit and uh, do many things in between. Uh, so I request your full participation. I, I see there is a preparation for... Acha, at the end. Yes, at the end. Good, good, good. And we will... Do you know a mantra to Lord Ram for Pushpanjali? We have taken on the mantra. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let us start with a very nice Ram Kirtan. Trying to find my castles here. Uh, Go Krishna, you can uh, sing, please. Those who wish to chant along, uh, the song is Ayodhya Vasi Ram 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 Dasharatanan Danadam mm. I think we will give our online audience um, Can you hold it? Oh, 
राम राम दशरथ नंदन Yeah. 
पावन जानकी जीवन सीत मोहन रातिल पावन understand Ram in the best way. If we just watch his activities, which are so well known that even Shukadev Goswami in uh, the Bhagavatam tells Parikshit Maharaj, these are so well known, you know this already. If we also just watch his activities, uh, we will say, we, we know it, yes, he uh, went to my, uh, when he was young, to the town of Janaka Maharaj, he broke Shiva's bow, and uh, therefore gained the hand of Sita in marriage. Um, he went back to Ayodhya, thinking, mm, like everyone else, he would be soon the mighty emperor of the world, but then uh, something else uh, developed. Uh, there was uh, intrigue, palace intrigue, you could say, and as a result, his father Dasharat was forced to send him into the exile in the forest. So one day before he was crowned, uh, he was forced to enter the forest in exile for, I think, 12 years. Then Sita was kidnapped by the <coughs> evil Raksha Saravan. Uh, uh, Ram got a whole army of monkeys uh, uh, to help him. There were no human beings who were uh, strong enough to face the Rakshasas. He got Sita back at the, end, at the end of the exile. He went to Ayodhya and became the king. 
And then when he left this world, he took all his devotees with him to the Spurta planet of Ram in the Spurta world. That's, that's a story which everyone knows. You can look it up in Google. There are films about it, a very interesting Japanese cartoon which uh, depicts it. Um, there are uh, many, many, many uh, books around this. But is this the secret of Ram? Uh, before uh, I uh, sp mm, speak, I want to pay my obeisances to the many devotees of Ram whom I have met in India. I have seen them and uh, they don't glorify Ram because of this short story which is so well known. But they see him as the Supreme Lord who is so kind to them. I have seen such devotees, for instance, on Govardhan Parikrama. There is a couple which is sitting just before Jatipur and the mm, husband reads from early morning when it's still cold or cool uh, to late in the night uh, the Ramayan. I think he must have read the Ramayan already phew, a few hundred times, but he uh, reads it again and again in loud voices. And uh, uh, when you stop, and you care to stop, he gives you a little apple, uh, pashadam, which he has offered to Ram. Mm. Uh, and when you look into his eyes, He's so absorbed in, in the story of Lord Ram. He must see something else there than just the storyline which is well known. I was in the Himalayas at the Bhima Pool, the Bhima Bridge, which is there where there is the, the Saraswati, just high in the Ganga, and I saw a yogi dressed all in black, he was very skinny, he only had a chatter, it was freezing cold, and uh, his eyes were full of light. And guess what was before him? An open book of the Ramayan, which he had read again and again and again. When I asked through Dolmetscha, this yogi, what is about this Ramayan? He said, well, this book was read by another yogi who lived before him in the same cave. And he also went through the book again and again. He started in the beginning, came to the end, and then continued. I think maybe this yogi is no longer, maybe he has left the world, but there will be for sure another Bhakta of Ram <coughs> sitting there reading or reciting the Ramayan. I've seen many such Ram Bhaktas all over India. And the situation is always the same. They have the Ramayan before them, and they read it out loud, they recite it. And when they uh, look in your eyes, they have these far away eyes, um, which see something else, uh, the Lord of their their lives. What is it that fascinates thousands and millions of people on planet Earth to again and again read the story of Ramayan? You find Ramayan depicted on the walls of the palace of the Thailand king. You find in Cambodia the oldest temple. There are dramas of Rama perform. What is the magic of this story? What, what do they see? My dear devotees, only a lover of music can understand the value of a symphony. Uh, it is said about the uh, mighty emperor Harun al-Rashid, when he heard that one prince had fallen madly in love with 
Leila, uh, he sent his ministers out to find Leila. He expected a, a queen of beauty. Uh, but when he looked at Leila, she, she was like so many other Leilas in his kingdom. And he, he got Manjun, the, the, the prince who had fallen in love with Leila, and said, what is so special about Leila? You're Leila, I can't see anything special. And the prince said, well, if you want to see Leila, you have to look through the eyes of Manjun. <laughs> Only a, a lover, in other words, a lover of Ram can tell you who is Ram, just like a music, this only a music musician can understand what is good music, and only a lover knows the heart of the beloved. So therefore, in this, uh, before I start, I just want uh, to remember all those devotees of Ram, who are now in their caves, in the jungles, in the palaces, in wherever they are, who are crying tears of ecstasy because the Lord has, of their heart has appeared. And I hope that some of their um, mercy uh, goes to us here in Neuropin and to, to those of you who look at the, this in the internet. And there's a beautiful verse about uh, that that helps us maybe to enter into the secret of Ram. Na jan manu na mahato na so bagam na van na buddhir na kritis to shahitu ter yat vishishtan apinova no kashas Chakara Sakye Bata Lakshyama Graja. One cannot establish a friendship with the Supreme Lord Ramachandra on the basis of material qualifications, such as one's birth in an aristocratic family, one's personal beauty, one's eloquence, one's sharp intelligence, or one's superior race or nation. None of these qualifications is actually a prerequisite or necessary for friendship with Lord Sri Ramachandra. Otherwise, how is it possible that although we uncivilized inhabitants of the forest have not taken noble birth, although we have no physical beauty, and although we cannot speak like gentlemen, Lord Ramachandra has nevertheless accepted us as friends. Can any one of you guess who has said this verse? The Vanarats? Yes. Who? who? Hanumanji. Hanuman is in the form of a monkey. He has no aristocratic birth. Uh, he, he has no personal beauty mm, and all these things. But he has developed friendship um, to, uh, to the Lord because of his devotional qualifications. Uh, this is there in the Chaitanya Bhagavat also. There was this very poor Kolavecha Shrita. He was so, so poor. He, his uh, roof was full of a hole and it was raining through. Mm. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, Lord Brahma and Shiva shed tears on beholding Kolavecha Shrita's greatness. And when Davin Dastaku says, one cannot attain Lord Krishna by any amount of wealth, followers, or learning, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is controlled only by pure devotion. So this is the qualification of uh, understanding uh, Lord 
uh, Ram. Uh, it is uh, these, uh, this devotion can make him uh, appear in your heart. There's a very interesting discussion about Lord Ram. Mm. Uh, once Narada Muni came into the forest to see uh, Valmiki Muni, a great Rishi, and uh, Valmiki said, is there anyone at present on the planet Earth who has all the good qualities? Good qualities means 16 qualities need to be there. Gunavan means a wonderful character. Viryavan means very strong. Dhamma means someone who knows and follows Dharma. Kritagya, who is grateful. Satyavan, who only speaks the truth and is only on the side of truth. And Dritavrata, someone who is fully determined. So 16, these are only six qualities, but 10 more. Valmiki asked Narada, is there anyone like this at the moment on the planet? And perhaps sometimes you feel also, my God, people become so uh, superficial uh, and if I, I don't even want to look at the newspapers to, to see how people are and what they, they do and what they say. No? So Valmiki also was thinking, is there anyone who has good qualities? And Narada Muni said, yes. That one person whom you are looking is? Ram. Ram. Yes. <laughs> Hariseva knows. <laughs> It's, he's there on this planet at this moment. And uh, you must know, he's full of all good qualities. Now, amongst the qualities which mm, are considered to be good qualities in the, this world is, is the first and foremost good quality. Can you imagine what is the best quality someone can have in this world? Compassion. If you want to develop good qualities, start with compassion. Because here in this world, everyone <laughs> needs understanding. Everyone needs support. Everyone, you know, no matter how they act towards you, are uh, in, in need of some sympathy, some love, some friendship. Uh, so in this way uh, uh, he is full of, Lord Ram is full of compassion. Um, once when uh, Mother Sita and Ram uh, were in the forest Sita said quite hesitatingly my Lord Ram you have taken birth in the Chatriya family. Chatriyas have three faults. They sometimes speak lies. Yes, politicians, in order to reach their goal, will say anything. They do illicit activities, very sensual people. And they have a tendency to use excessive violence. When a warrior gets into uh, the war and the, on the battlefield, if he is not turning mad with the rage, he will be soon killed. So they have the tendency, when there is a, a struggle, to use excessive violence. So Sita says, I'm not uh, afraid that you will be lying or that there will be illicit acts, but what will happen when you enter the battlefield? She knew that in times to come there would be a huge damning battle against the Rakshasas. Led by who? Ravan. Yes, 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 yes. So Rama said, see this bow and these arrows. You can see our Rama, our Lord Chaitanya is today uh, 
Ram, see this bow and arrow. Mm. I hold them only to take away the misery of those surren surrendered souls who cry out to me for help. Whether in the forest or in the capital town Ayodhya, I can give up my brothers, I can give up my kingdom, I can give up my opulence, I can even give up my life to take the misery from others. Uh, uh, but I can never give up my vow to protect those in, in, in need. My dear devotees, uh, the Lord has personally declared the, this is a verse which is hold as one of the most special verses to the, for the Ram Bhakta. And by the way, it is quoted by the Krishna Bhakta uh, in, um, in relationship to, to Krishna. This is the vow of the Lord. Sakrit eva prapano yas tavas miti chayachate abayam savada tasmai dadam yetat vratam mama. <coughs> it is my vow that if one only once seriously surrenders unto me, saying, my dear Lord, from this day on, I am yours. And praise to me for courage. I shall immediately award courage to that person and he will always remain safe from that time on. This, I think, is the secret of bhakti, to let go of your own control and to pray to the Lord uh, to accept you uh, at that time you need courage to go through your life but Krishna or Rama gives that courage and from that moment he will uh, remain safe now it is said that in Kali Yuga that is our time our age the Lord is more mercifully inclined to his devotees than in Satya, Treta and Varapa age. And in order to show that, Lord Ramachandra revealed a pastime where he actually appeared and used his bow and the arrow which he had for the, to maintain his vow. Once there was a devotee brahmana and when he went with his wife to the uh, parents of the wife. The wife had been uh, long absent and it was a visit at home. I think we often do this as devotees. No? We bring our spouse to our parents. No? These two were devotees of Lord Ram and they chanted his name always. Ram, Ram. Ram. They were always chanting this, this Ram. So when they were walking on the road, a group of thieves saw them and they pretended to be devotees because they saw the Brahmana had golden ornaments. Sometimes Brahmanas have gold rings. Uh, I can't see, Amara. Uh, have you uh, a golden earring? Little, yeah, little. But they have all kinds of uh, golden earrings. Our Amara needs a few donations, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they, can, can, they, they, they have gold on their arms and so on. So the thieves had seen a uh, lot, uh, had seen the Brahmana. And they said, they asked, where are you going, you two? And the man said, we are going to the uh, parents of my wife. They have not seen my wife since a long time. Oh, said the thieves, uh, where is that pl 
uh, where do they live? And they, they gave the name of the village. Ah, how good, said the thieves. We are also going to this village and we know a shortcut through the forest. So the husband became suspicious. And, but the thief said, no, we are also chanting Ram, 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 like you. We are Ram Bhaktas. Don't worry. <laughs> Ram will always be between you and us. He will protect. The, the, we, are, we are very good devotees. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the wife said, do not be afraid. Have faith. Uh, Lord Ramachandra is constantly between us and these uh, people whom we don't know. Uh, please let's go with them. We should have faith in the chanters and in the holy names. So finally the husband relented. It's true, he said, Lord Ramachandra is between them and us as our protector. So the thieves led this innocent couple into the deep forest and then when they were uh, when there was no one around they took their knives out and brutally killed the husband the brahmana brutally then they took their golden earring the golden earrings and the golden ornaments and the, the brahmani had just seen that and screamed and they took her, they didn't kill her, they had other plans with her. So as they were carrying or dragging her away, uh, mm, uh, this Brahmin wife always looked back and the thieves became irritated. Foolish woman, why do you look back? We have killed your husband, he will not return. Um, now you are with us and for us. Mm. But the wife uh, uh, said, I'm looking for that person whom you assured would be always between me and you. The thieves became ang angry. <coughs> but as they were going to do uh, some unspeakable actions, uh, Lord, all of a sudden, Lord Rama stood on the forest path. He took his arrow and <laughs> sent all these thieves mm, to Vaikuntha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a polite way of saying he uh, killed them because anyone who leaves his body seeing the beautiful face of the Lord before them as the last and the last vision goes there where the Lord resides. Mm. Uh, then Lord Ram looked to his devotee, the lady. He greeted her. And then he went over to the dead husband who was lying in his blood. And he touched the dead husband with his head and revived him back to life. And then he said, it is my vow that anyone who calls out to me, saying from this day on, I'm yours, I will always protect them and give them the courage. Beautiful. This uh, pastime, my dear devotees, is uh, narrated <coughs> in the work Bhakta Mala, um, which uh, wants to show that if we have faith in the Lord, uh, then his reciprocation is guaranteed. Mm. Uh, Rama's uh, pastime, you must understand, is very, very different from Krishna. Uh, Rama is Mayada Purushottama. He follows uh, always human-like acts of dharma. For him, duty is over love. He wants to establish 
in this world where where every one of uh, where all people are so selfish and so mm, interested in their own enjoyment no for a higher purpose you should follow your dharma but krishna for him love is over dharma krishna had appeared uh, to uh, write to put the laws of dharma into this world But uh, when he played in Vrindavan, his pastimes, he gave his love to Nanda Maharaj, Yashoda Rani, uh, even the cows and the monkeys. <laughs> and he did not remember that he actually had, uh, had the duty to take care of the planet Earth. He was lost in love. Only when Ram Sorry, when Narada Muni came to him and said, My dear Lord, there's Kamsa, there's Yara Sandra. The whole world is overcrowded with demoniac armies who do demoniac things. Please leave Vrindavan, leave your loving parents and do your duty as the avatar. Then, upon being reminded, Krishna uh, uh, left Vrindavan to do his dharmic duty. No? Uh, Ram didn't need to be reminded. There is a very, very nice discussion which when I was a young devotee, I read it over and over again. Uh, you know, on the day where Ram was exiled and Bharata, his brother, uh, uh, was to be made the next king. Um, uh, Bharata didn't agree to this. He thought, yes, my father was bound by a promise to his wife. Who is the wife? Kaiki. No? Uh, to, to fulfill two desires. But I'm not like this. You know, Dasharat, the father of Uh, Ram had uh, uh, once uh, been in a terrible battle against a strong opponent and he was hit by the arrows so that he couldn't fight any longer. So at that time, Kaike, a beautiful Chatriya uh, princess, had uh, jumped on his chariot and had taken the chariot away from the battlefield and nursed him back to, to life. So Dasharat felt so grateful that he said, for this Kaike, uh, you have two wishes free. Kaike said at this moment, I'm just happy that you are alive. I don't need two wishes, but let me keep them, and when the time comes that I want them, then I will ask you. So the time came, Dasharat had in the meantime married Kaike, she was one of uh, three wives, and on the day of Ram's, or the night before Ram's coronation as a king, Kaike came to Dasharat and said, Do you remember I have two wishes free? Dasharat said, yes, anything, anything. Well, uh, uh, let my son Bharata and not Ram became, become the next emperor. And uh, just to, that there's a peaceful atmosphere, let Ram go for 14 years, I think, 14 years in exile. Yes, 13. The Brahmanas are discussing 13 or 14 years. So, when Dasharat heard this, he just fell down and he said, You cruel lady. Kaiki said, Have you given your promise? Yes or no? So Dasharat said only one thing, Ram, and then died.
No, no, then he, 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 he was alive. The next morning he told Ram, uh, you have to go for 13 or 14 years in exile. 14 years in exile. And um, Bharata will be the next king. Hare Krishna. It doesn't make a difference, Hari Seva. 13 or 14 is very long. Very long. <laughs> mm, so Bharata will be the next uh, king. So, so uh, mm, yes, so, so Ram accepted this. And the next, and immediately he went uh, mm, uh, uh, to the forest. Sita accompanied him. And they took their first, uh, they may, uh, Ra, 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 Lakshman also came along and built a hut for them. So uh, after a few days, they saw a huge army approaching. Mm. Uh, first there were the woodcutters who cut all the trees. Then came the street builders who made this huge, huge uh, uh, street. And then came the mighty army of Ayodhya. And there was the banner of Bharata. Lakshman saw this from the tree. And he said, oh no, no Bharata, this rascal comes to take the life of Ram so that Ram doesn't take uh, his throne back. And he got ready. Uh, he jumped down from the tree. He ran to Ram and said, Ram, the army of Ayodhya come. I feel the, the verses. Ram just smiled and said, it's Bharata. His heart is full with only one thing. Uh, that is Ram. So Bharata then uh, left the army. He had, the spies had seen smoke where, uh, you know, the, the hut of Ram was. They were cooking something. And um, he came with a few people and he said, Ram, I uh, don't agree with our father who has given you uh, the order to go into exile, come back. I am now the king of Ayodhya. I can ask you uh, to come back. Okay, uh, Father has given me the kingdom, but I'm giving it to you. So at that moment, mm, Ram uh, 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 was just listening. At that moment, uh, one saint began to, to speak. It was Jabali. Jabali was rising to his feet. Hoping for future happiness, Ram. Uh, people meet only extermination at death. They have tried to live dharmically, but they led a life of suffering where they did not have the pleasures of life. The scriptures have been written by intelligent Brahmins who wish to mm, pray, sacrifice, and charity. Uh, in this way, these Brahmins have assured their own livelihood, uh, but people who follow them only suffer. Don't say you uh, don't want to come back because... It's your dharma mm, to follow your father's order. Just uh, go back and enjoy. I think this is a very, very important discussion because isn't there a voice in all of us who says, ah, oh, the spirit alive, ah, oh, these difficult principles, ah, oh, this, um, I only suffer in this life and then I suffer in the next life also. So Jabali smiled as he spoke his false philosophy. No one in the assembly accepted his words, but they hoped that Ram would be convinced to leave the forest and take the throne. Everyone listened in silence as Jabali continued. Knowing this truth, O Ram, you should renounce your foolish ascetism, ascetism there is nothing beyond the universe. 
Do not depend for your happiness on anything outside of that which you can see and immediately experience. Therefore, O oh great prince, accept the kingdom and enjoy it as the undisputed ruler. Then Jabali stopped speaking. Ram answered, A man is known by his conduct alone. Although you're posing as a learned and cultured person, one who acts as you direct is to be accepted as sinful and debased. Those who are wise never praise a person who acts only to please his senses. Such a person. If we follow the path espoused by you, pleasure over Dharma, O atheistic ones, this entire earth would be cast into ruin. All men follow the king's examples. Abandoning the religious path, the people would become uncontrolled. Cars would prevail and everyone would suffer. And then Rama explained how the attempt to just enjoy life through enjoying the mind and the senses is a problematic position because it never satisfies the real self. I thought it is a very nice discussion. I have only given you a summary of it. Mm, those who like arguments um, can study it a little. It's really atheistic, uh, uh, pleasure-seeking philosophy and on the other side, Rama's position and so on. Mm. I want to soon come to the end now. Uh, one quality of Ram is that he is kritagya, grateful. Mm, we heard about compassion, we heard about dharma, gya, knowing dharma and following dharma. Now we will hear about kritagya. You can see a person's quality is measured by his ability to express gratitude for things that, were, that had helped Lord Ram to win the Dharma struggle for uh, Sita. Mm. Uh, Ram rewarded each single monkey. Mm. I think this is an important meditation for each devotee. The Lord sees whatever little thing we do and he comes to our help and, and our gratitude is uh, grateful in, 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 in showing his uh, mercy. I want to give one little example. Um, uh, um, you know, Ram and Lakshman and Sita went through the forest and on their wanderings they came to Lake Pampa. In Pampa, there lived one uh, uh, Shabari. She was an old, uh, emaciated uh, lady, uh, way past her menopause. Mm. And uh, mm, uh, she uh, had run away from home when she was only 14 years old. I'm trying to speak relevantly here. She had run away when she was a small uh, lady. She was to be married uh, 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 by her father to uh, another tribal man. They were tribal people. And so on the night of her married marriage, uh, and night before her marriage, she saw that 1,000 goats were brought uh, into a her village, these goats would be slaughtered the next day to, uh, for, for a feast uh, for all those who came to the marriage. 
And she thought, because of me, all these goats have to suffer. So she ran away in the night before her marriage. <laughs> but no, this was the forest. No one gave her shelter. And when she knocked at the doors of the ashrams, the, the, the hermit said, "Here's a young girl. How can we take care of a young girl? Maybe that other ashram. <laughs> So she was rejected and dismissed until she came to Matanga Rishi uh, and Matanga Rishi accepted her like a daughter. Mm, she, when Matanga Rishi uh, was just a day before his death, he said, O oh Shabari, know uh, one thing, stay in this ashram and when Ra one day Ram will come, and you will help him in his pastime. And uh, you will have his darshan. And afterwards, you can you have reached the perfection. And you can give up your body and go back home, back to Godhead. So every day, Shabari had swept the floor. Every day, she had prepared a simple feast of berries. She took the berries and ate a little bit, bit or bit a little bit of the berry to see if it's a bitter berry. If a bitter berry was there, she would throw it. If it was a sweet berry, she would keep it in case Ram would come that day. Satya Yuga turned into Treta Yuga, no Ram. But because she was kept alive by the blessings of Matanga Rishi, she hoped every single day. Uh, Gokrishna asked today, but didn't she become impatient? The answer is she had faith in Matanga Rishi. Uh, so uh, one uh, day uh, she saw the beautiful, the, the path illumine, illumined by the beautiful greenish color uh, and who steps into her vision? Lord Ram with Lakshmana. Shabari was well prepared. There was a stone. And she said, you, my Lord, please sit here. And she brought her little berry preparation over. Uh, and Lord Ram ate it because in the Gita, Krishna says, if one offers me with bhakti a leaf, a fruit, and then he says again, if it's done with bhakti, I accept it. This means uh, bhakti is more important for Krishna than the fruit, the leaf, the water. Oh, what is, it? is it? Huh? Uh, that, the flower, yes. That's why he says two times, if it's done with bhakti. And she had done with bhakti and offered with with bhakti uh, so so yeah uh, he accepted uh, uh, it and then shabari said can i give you a tour through the ashram and she was a simple uh, you know forest lady and she showed him the ram here is the the tree box the ascetics my god brothers have dressed in it and they have washed it see it's still dripping wet by your mercy. So there was some tree bark hanging on lines and they were dripping wet. Here is the fire of the sacrifice. It's still burning by your mercy, Ram. And by your mercy, Ram, I will uh, 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 now go back to you. So Ram said, um, Shabari, please listen to me first. Ram knew what she was going to do. Uh, I have uh, uh, lost my wife, Sita. Do you have any idea how I can find her? Shabari, uh, in great ecstasy, said, no, I personally have no idea, but you should make friendship with Sugriva and the monkey. Sugriva also lost his wife. And uh, he knows the pain you undergo. 
and in this way, uh, yes, uh, Ram uh, got the cue. Uh, he made friendship with Sugriva. He met Hanuman, and they found Sita later. No? So <laughs> uh, then Shabari said, uh, "My dear Lord, please allow me uh, to." Uh, go the path of the Siddhas. And Ram said, okay, if you want. So Shabari took fire from the Yagya. She made a, f a funeral fire for herself. She entered the funeral fire, chanting Ram, Ram, and then came out in her spiritual body, circumambulated Ram, and went back home, back to Godhead. Das hat stehen. That, uh, yes, that is in the style of me, you know, this is spiritual. Yes, so uh, Ram went. Uh, I want to uh, just end by saying a little later, Sugriva saw he was hiding on the mountain, on the top of the mountain, because why? Vali, his brother, was after his life and he could not enter at the top of the Rishasinga mountains. So Sugriva was hiding there, but he had very good eyes. He could see Ram and Lakshman. And he said, Hanuman, find out who these two are. So Hanuman took on the form of a Brahmana. He could shift his shape. And he, said, uh, he went with a Brahman string, and he said, who are you? Please give your introduction. So Ram said, I'm the son of the Dasharat, the Surya Vangsa. And uh, who are you? Lakshman said, I'm his servant. And then they said, who are you? And at that moment, in the Darshan of Ram, Hanuman saw that this was his eternal Lord. So he said, I'm foolish, I'm unworthy, and I'm unfortunate. What, he, what Hanuman wanted to say is, mm, I don't know who you are. I did not know who you are. That's why I'm foolish. I'm unworthy. If I speak about me, I don't do Ram Kata. And only Ram Kata is worthy Kata. And I'm unfortunate. Uh, the day the master does not recognize the servant, it's the most unfortunate day for the servant. And Ram, you have not recognized me. I'm your Hanuman. And saying this, he changed his form into the form of Hanuman. <laughs> I think when we stand before the Lord, uh, we can also say, my Lord, I'm ignorant. I do not know you. I'm unworthy of your mercy because I'm still so active in the material world. And I'm unfortunate. I'm only fortunate when you embrace me and take me back to your divine service. So these are some little explanations of Lord Ram. Ram is, uh, I have something for you at the end. Because uh, Satbuja has come, so I wanted to say mm, uh, uh, all the incarnations of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but especially Lord Ramachandra, Lord Krishna, and later Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu delivered many of the living entities present before them, indeed almost all of them. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is therefore represented in the six-armed form of Satbuja Murti, which is a combination of Lord Ramachandra, Lord Krishna, and Lord Sri Chaitanya. The best purpose of human life can be fulfilled by worshipping the Satbuja Murti, the form of the Lord with six arms. Two arms of Ramachandra, two arms of Krishna, and two arms of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
Yes, Hare Krishna, my dear devotees. I'm very uh, uh, happy that I survived this lecture. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not so easy when you have an inattentive audience, uh, but I tried my best. Uh, and uh, I w my main message to all of you is try to see how you can um, make a connection with Lord Ram. Try to see how these subject matters uh, of you can come into your heart. After all, uh, you know, uh, Ram can only be seen through devotion. And uh, the spiritual subjects of Krishna consciousness will not be seen by all us, not even by much chanting, not by uh, keeping celibacy. The spiritual core of bhakti cannot be recognized by much learning or by much, um, how do you say, scholarship even. The uh, subject matters of Krishna consciousness can only be seen by Prem Me, by Prem, Prema, Prema, mm, uh, by love. Uh, and that love can come to us if we listen carefully and respectfully, respectfully um, to the pastimes of the Lord. Because such a listening to the Lord will help us to understand what is our goal. And by such respectful list, listening, adara is the uh, word, no? uh, that uh, 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 spiritual eyes can be re, uh, reawakened in, in our uh, head, in our lives, and we can see what is important and what is not important. But please take note, just alone chanting, just alone doing all these things will not help you if you do not keep the Lord in your mind and, uh, not, and do not keep him in a respectful way. So to make it easy for us, uh, our Amara uh, has organized a Pushpanjali, a flower offering, which we will all do now. Uh, for those of you who are in the internet, you can also get a an, an, uh, flower. Um, see, we have this here. <laughs> and we will throw it to, uh, on the lotus feet of our Ram Chanta. Perhaps you can do kirtan while this is going on. Mm. Shri Ramachandra Ki Jai 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 Si Radhe Syam Krishna. Wie man, du, du sagst Bescheid, wie es geht, ne?
Sakrut eva, prapannaya, tava, smiti, chaya chate, abayam, salva, putibhyo, tadami, itat, Vratam Mama Om Dasarataya Vidmahe Sita Valabaya Dimahi Tanno Rama Prashodaya Rushpanjali Om Sarkut Eva Prapannaya Tava Smiti Chayachate Achayam Salva Putibhyo Dadami Etat Vattam Mama Om Dasarataya Vitmahe Sita Valabaya Dimahi Tanno Rama Prashodayata Pushpanjali Om Sakurdeva Prapannaya Tava Smiti Chayachate Abhayam Salvabhutebhyo Tadami Etat Vratam Mama Om Dasarataya Vitmahe Sita Valabaya Dimahi Tanno Rama Prashodayate Pushpanjali Jai Sri Ram